this is Bhupati from Prolitech and today I'm going to show how to install Ubuntu operating system that's major distribution from Linux into a, into a PC or a laptop <coughs> to do so you have at least 10 8 gigabytes of pen drive then this Ubuntu ISO then a bootmaker I am using dpinb.exe it's a common bootmaker product be dpin now go to, go to the ubuntu website and download this ubuntu iso i will show you how to do it just type in uh, ubuntu.com then go for the downloads Now click on the first one Ubuntu desktop because we are we are going to install the Ubuntu desktop. Now click on this download button to download the Ubuntu 16.4. Uh, down you can see the latest version Ubuntu 17.9, but this is not a stable version and the support will be provided is until July 2018. You can see that uh, this 16.4 version supports until July 2021 so download this version now insert your pen drive then open this one the common boot maker I recommend deepinb.exe I mean deepin boot maker to install you can find this deepin boot maker .exe under the video description you can download from under my video description you can install your laptop now choose the ISO image that's which is on the desktop then click on open then choose your pen drive now click this to format your pen drive make sure it does not kept anything on your pen drive now click on the start it will take uh, two minutes to write the ISO into your pen drive so keep calm before the ISO is written into the pen drive, I'm going to show you how to create partition to install Ubuntu in your laptop or a desktop PC. To do so, uh, go for the search and type for partitions. Click on the first one, create and uh, format hard disk partition. now you have to format uh, one of your drives for the installation of ubuntu uh, i recommend 50 gb because it's enough to install ubuntu and install those uh, softwares which is uh, we are going to use in ubuntu uh, i have 50 gb partition here i'm going to format it and i and it does not create a new partition on this to do so right click on this and click on delete volume yes continue now you can see the 50 GB on arcade better just leave this alone and close the menu and wait for the IOSIS return on your pen drive It is made successfully mm, now click on the restart now to restart your laptop the laptop is now restarting press the escape key 
I am currently using Pavilion G6 uh, Pavilion HP Pavilion um, so you can see the starter menu is here press F9 boot device options because we are going to choose a pen drive then choose the first one sand disk I mean your pen drive now choose the second one install ubuntu if you want to know what are the keys to your desktop or your laptop just comment down the video i will uh, provide you what are the keys to boot into your i mean to go into your bios menu or start menu now loading up choose the version as english on continue and then if you want to connect to a wi-fi or uh, uh, you want to connect it uh, later just i don't want to click those options the default option now click on continue choose the second option i mean tick the one and continue it will take some time Now it will ask for the installation type. Uh, choose the something else and click continue. Now we have about 53.7 GB left. The one we have created in the window, I mean the partition we deleted in the windows, which is create as created as free space here. Simply find the free space. Here is this free space. Now click the plus sign. And click as the logical. And choose this as swap area. Swap area is nothing but when your, when your operating system goes to hibernate it will recover the last session that you lost before you click ok swap area is not so larger and so small i will give you about 2 gigabytes 1 gigabytes is enough but i give 2000 mb now click ok wait for some time to create it swap is now created now we have two uh, two partitions left that is boot and home and next find the free space left again we have this free space here about 51 gigabytes again now click click the plus sign and click this primary and then i'm going to partition this as for root and for home for root i'm going to give about 30 gigabytes i mean 30,000 mb before you click ok check the zeros and from this drop down menu choose this, uh, this slash plus, slash means root i mean super user there is nothing but an administrative permissions i mean the account with administrative permissions now click ok and wait for some time to create it
now for the root partition is now created now we have a uh, free space left about 21 gigabytes now click select this and click the plus sign again because we, we are going to give this partition for the uh, home home is nothing but we save the videos and pictures and some data for the other users click on the home and just leave this don't uh, change this value now click ok partition is now created now check the last time check you have created correctly I mean 2 gigabytes uh, for swap and then 30 gigabytes for the root and home 21 gigabytes then that's all we are finishing it up now click install now it will ask uh, write changes to the disk now click continue then it will ask you for to change uh, change the time zone i'm living in india so i'm uh, giving this as india then click continue and then choose your languages i'm going with the default one then set your username and password after you creating username and password now click on continue wait for some time to install it install the OS on your operating system after installation you can see the screen like this the installation is complete then you have to restart now I'm going to click restart now and see what happens Now press the escape key again. And now choose F9. And you can see the Ubuntu installed here. Ubuntu. Now I'm going to press enter. Choose the first one Ubuntu. When, it, uh, when the first time it takes some time to load keep calm yeah it's came now type the password and enter on your desktop now we are all set Now that's all guys, we have just successfully installed and the Ubuntu, the top OS of the Linux distribution. Thanks for watching this video and I will post the videos to solve problems which are occurring on occurring in Ubuntu and please subscribe for more. Thank you guys.